Richards here, only four Oxford Scholars, unbelievable value. Seaport win. Just hit a heartbeat true for the old double move. Then we'll sing that song for you. What do we say? What about that Phil Carvin? What about a hypocrite, hey? Bound for life in football, and he's telling us the magpies are no good. Port Adelaide, good side, but not good enough today, I hope. Port Adelaide's going to win good in the best team. Got him, Maggie! Hello everybody and welcome to Football Park in Westlakes, Adelaide for the 1998 South Australian National Football League Grand Final. I'll just stop there as we go back to Michael Parsons for the coin toss. Yes, Andrew Osborne, McGarry medalist for this year, won it with 16 votes. He's going to toss the coin, Chris Threadgold, Darryl Borlase, Darryl Borlase calls the toss, Chris Threadgold wins the toss and he'll kick to the northern end of the ground. Pirouettes around the dispatches a kick forward. Dropping under it to Chalmers. Big fly from Scotty High but Hodges, but Chalmers has marked it. That is a great mark. And, uh, he is a prodigious kick from 40 out the distance. Won't trouble him. Neither will the accuracy. First goal for the 1998 Grand Final goes to Port Adelaide's Brett Chalmers. Uh, he blokes it down soft. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd all like to be out there, but realistically none of us can. Steed towards full forward. Thread goal. Scotty Hodges lost his footing. Thread goal was pulled off the ball and Burgoyne was dragged. The umpires allowed both incidents to play on. Not bad upright. Here comes Scotty Hodges to collect a few. Snap for goal. Oh, it's carried. It's gone through. It was Chalmers and he's got it. He's got his second. Oh, the Port Adelaide fans are wrapped. Bruce Lennon needs the lead up forward. At the back there, looks like Ambrose. Great commitment by Ambrose. A chance here. It is. It's home. The Double Blues have the support again, taking on Alfred Steed or Morgan. Steed's gone down. Well, some tough work done out there, David. And it's going to get tougher, you just suspect. Well, Adelaide don't lay down and die in finals. Norman Allen releases Binky. He's been a dominant goal kicker in this final series, and today he gets his first. That's the one that Port Adelaide needed, the one on the way back. And Binky, who's uh, kicked four, seven, and four the last three weeks. Been created by the Double Blues. Oh! Irvin's taken by Burgoyne. If Irvin, get, if Irvin gets up, it will be a miracle. It was Cow, wasn't it? The learning improved from it. Ball sum forward. Alfie Steed comes through. Left leg chips the ball high. Chance for Binky to run onto it. He get there, he does. And takes the mark as Brian Binky. In the second quarter, will line up for his second. So Brian Binky on the 50 metre line, puts it on its way. It's a beautiful kick there by Binky. It's through the middle. That's his second. And that's the Magpies fourth. And now trail by four points. He's eager to get rid of it. Across to Weatherall. Weatherall needs to set it up. He had time to find his fourth player. It's over the top. I don't believe Timmy Weatherall from the back pocket has made some ground. He's kicked his first major for the afternoon. The double blues have struck first blood in this third quarter. Lennon releases the handball, but Binky streams away. Here's Steed. It's a turnaround. Let's see if he can crash through. Oh, he's very good in that situation, Steed. And he delivers the knockout punch. That's a big one. Well done, Alfie Steed. Big jacks the Ruckman. Good hands from Carter in centre wing, bringing the ball inboard. Bolton takes it, he's got Tregenza in the middle of the ground, he goes in that direction, Tregenza quickly gets the ball moving, he's got Carter, he's come forward, great mark again by Carter, kicks up forward, the back is Norman Allen, in front there was Red Gold, the umpire's caught play on, Brown, Brown takes it, as he kicked another one, I think David Brown has, that's his first for the afternoon, it's body, a chance here, they need a mark, the Blues, they can't find one at the moment. Where's this gone? They're here, they're home. The game is not over, it's still alive. Nathan Irvine brings up his first. The double blues are going to come home. Look, you can't be the player that lets your man get the ball and a free access to goal, but you've got to try and outsmart him as well. Bamford goes towards goal. Oh, well, the goal up by leans back and says, oh, team lifter. Port Adelaide through Bamford. Bamford bangs it through and gets his first nine kicks, seven handballs. 
You just got to admire them. They never give up Port Adelaide. Oh, towards Binky. Well, he's got away, hasn't he? He's kept three, and he's about 40 metres out on a very tight angle. So Brian Binky, a long bomb. That is a grand final goal. Brian Binky, you legend. Port Adelaide take the 1998 grand final. Brian Binky seeks a miracle goal, and I think they know they're home from here. Celebrations tonight at Elverton. Important. Thumps the ball 40 metres and finds Brown. And David, the final siren, sees the Magpies winning by nine points. Port Adelaide have won by nine points in euphoria. A round of congratulations to Port Adelaide, the 1998 SANFL Grand Final winners. Stephen Williams, the coach, congratulated his players around. A fair bit of emotion, Stephen. Congratulations. Great game. Yeah, well, they certainly couldn't do it, but... Uh... This shows what Port Adelaide's made of, eh? And there is something special at Port Adelaide. It's a fabulous tradition. First team for a long time to get back from the preliminary final. Yeah, uh, we always had the belief. Uh, I thought we got screwed by the umpires, but uh, we've been everyone. All right, Steve. Thanks very much. Enjoy. Thanks, David. Thank you, Stephen Williams. Thank you, Michael Parsons. Congratulations to Port Adelaide, who won their 35th flag. Two in three years for Stephen Williams.